excited. Today is the first video of my holiday hoopla. Yes, I am so excited. It is December, Christmas is coming, and holiday makeup is here. I am so excited. Holiday makeup is my favorite kind of makeup. I'm not gonna lie. I love the collections. I love the themes. I love it all. I really do. So, I <laughs> I am back and <laughs> I know I've been gone quite a while. So I'm very excited to uh, be coming back with a bang because it's holiday hoopla. And um, I'm not gonna promise one video every single day for the rest of the month, but that's what I'm trying to do. I may fail, <laughs> but I have 24 videos planned for the month of December. I have lots of fun things coming up. I have holiday collection reviews. I have some giveaways. I have my best of end of year countdowns. I have a couple tutorials. I am really, really excited to be back here playing with all this makeup. We're going to have lots and lots of fun. So if you want to see all of that, make sure that you subscribe and that you ring the bell so you get all the notifications of all the fun videos that I have coming up throughout the entire month of December. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Ifton. I'm really excited. I love makeup. Um, so this is going to be a fun time. Today, I thought let's go ahead and start this holiday hoopla off with a bang. This is day one, video one, and I thought let's play with a real collection that just, let's just get in the holiday spirit, you know? And when I was kind of looking at the collections that had been released, because let's be real, there are a lot of them. There was one that just screams Christmas. It's a full collection. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So I'm going to be playing with the new Kylie Cosmetics holiday collection. I have I have everything. I have the entire collection. I have the eyeshadow palette. I have the lip kit. I have the brushes. I've got it all. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it <laughs> and start playing with this Kylie holiday collection. started. Um, I have my eyebrows done and nothing else. I have a little bit of primer. I put the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer on to kind of do some pore filling. But other than that, I don't have anything else because the first product in the Kylie Holiday Collection, this is a little card that came with the whole collection. It says, thank you for celebrating the fourth annual holiday collection with me. I hope you have a safe and happy holiday season filled with love. Which is nice. Um, I didn't realize this was the fourth holiday collection. I guess Kylie Cosmetics has been around longer than I thought. For some reason I thought it was only three years, but I guess it's longer than that. Takes some time to be a billionaire. <laughs> but the reason I am starting with a practically bare face is because there actually is a face product in this collection. This is the Illuminating Primer. I guess this is... Yes, the Illuminating Face Primer. I thought maybe it had another name. I love the little Santa hats on it. It's very cute. And then you take it out and you have a, here's the actual face primer. It's in this cute like red ombre container. It's plastic, has, I think, yeah, has a pump. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by using this face primer. And then I will go ahead and do the rest of my face, like the rest of my base makeup, and then start playing with all of this other stuff. Oh, wait, why don't I start with the eyeshadow palette? Now that would be smart. <laughs> so this is the really cute eyeshadow palette. This is the, I think it's called the Dear Santa palette. Um, it looks, it's really cute how it, it looks like a little envelope. Um, it looks like a letter that she's mailing to the North Pole. It's cute how it opens actually like an envelope that it has this little flap that tucks in. You open it up has some lips on the inside. So here is the actual palette. So yeah, it's the Dear Santa palette. Um, love Kylie Jenner. I really like the theming of this collection. I like that, you know, she went there. She went there with a the holiday collection. And for a palette that's called Dear Santa, I definitely get some like Santa vibes. 
definitely there's a lot of reds in here this is a very warm tone red palette which i actually think is kind of nice it's kind of cool the Kylie Cosmetics Limited Edition Holiday 19 Collection Palette is your secret weapon to create the perfect Kylie Holiday look. One thing I really liked as I was just swatching these is that there's a really nice mix of different formulas and textures in this palette. And she actually has some glitters, which I think are really special. I think there's three glitters. There's Holiday, Holiday Season. Sorry, it's spelled S-Z-N. Took me a second to figure out what that was. Holiday Season. Christmas Crush, X Xmas Crush, and Hint of Naughty are three glitters that are in this palette, which I think is really cool. I like the glitters. As I swatched them, I thought they had, you know, really nice payoff, and they seemed kind of nice. Um, but there are also these two little guys, which I think are cool. These are the Shimmer Eye Glazes, and... She's had these for the last couple collections. I know she had a couple of these in her summer collection. I think that's when these eye glazes were first released. And then she had some in her birthday collection. I got both of those collections and then never ended up uh, using them. So they're still sitting in a box somewhere. So I swatched the eye glazes as well. There are two eye glazes. One is Good at Being Naughty, which is a bright red. And then I see, <laughs> I see what you mean, which is a, like a white. So these guys actually remind me and they're very similar to the, like it's like a Marc Jacobs sequins, which are a very metallic kind of eye topper type product. Um, there's also the Tarte Chrome paints, which I think are very similar to these guys. So I'm excited to, to actually use these for once. And then the last eye product that we'll use, this is a red liner. Um, so it's a red felt tip liner, which we won't, let me see, it's just, it seems kind of normal. I don't really use liner, <laughs> it's probably why I'm bad at it. It's kind of a vicious circle. I'm bad at doing like eyeliner and like wings, and so then I just never do it, and then I don't improve because I just never do it. So I'm gonna give this a go. <laughs> I'm gonna try to use this red eyeliner. Um, so yeah, those are the three eye products that we have from this collection, and Let's just uh, jump into it and start doing the eyeshadows. I'm going to start by priming my lids, of course. This is my Tarte, not my Tarte, <laughs> my MAC paint pot. I have, this, I have the color Soft Ochre. So eyelids are primed. Oh, let me also talk about the brushes that came with this holiday collection, which is actually kind of exciting. I own one Kylie brush. I remember the the hullabaloo that happened when they first came out, that they were very expensive and the packaging wasn't super nice quality. But I think the brushes I've heard are actually quite good. So I did get one brush. I've never used it. It got packed up in a box when I moved and I have yet to uncover it. Um, so I'm excited. This will be my first time using the brushes. So this is the Santa Baby brush set. It comes with four brushes. This looks like a blush brush and then three eyeshadow brushes. Um, I don't know, I remember when they first were released that her brushes were natural hair, which for eyeshadow brushes and a blush brush, I actually like. These are pretty, they feel very lightweight. They feel like natural hair. They feel like natural hair brushes. So if you're cruelty free, these are probably not for you, but I like natural hair eye brushes. I just think it kind of applies the product a little bit better, but that's just my opinion. Um, so let's look. These, oh, these are actually really reasonably priced. So for this whole set of four brushes, the three eye brushes and the face brush, it's only $35, which I think compared to when they first came out, that's that's pretty reasonably priced for four brushes. I like that. Um, you know, the size of these brushes, I probably, I still, I don't get it. When Brands do brush sets. I don't get why they don't just do like a regular blending brush. Like I like this one. This one kind of is like, um, I like the shape of this guy. How it's kind of a flat blending brush. Kind of reminds me of the M433. We also have one like smaller packing brush. And we have an angled brush. I have come to enjoy these types of brushes a little bit more, but mm, they're still not my favorite. I just wish brands would put in a blending brush when they do sets, I don't know. I just, that's my, my personal, my personal preference. But other than that, I think they're nice. Um, let's see here. Let's see here, more details. Yes, these are goat hair brushes. So these are natural goat hair brushes, um, not synthetic, which 
I think is fine, but other people, you may not like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the angled brush from Ky the an angled Kylie brush, and I'm gonna start with just, um, what do I want? I wanna do kind of, I think, a warm eye, and then I wanna use this white, this white shimmer, because I think that will have the red liner kind of pop a little bit more. Um, so I think I'm gonna start with the shade either Reindeer Dreams or Kris Kringle. <laughs> Chris spelled with a K. That's cute. I mean, I shouldn't be surprised, but <laughs> it's cute. I'm going to start with Chris King Kringle. So that's the shade right here. I'm going to start with Chris Kringle, and I'm going to pack this kind of into my crease and kind of blend it out. All right, this picks up a nice amount of product. Well, fair bit of, not a lot of fallout, a little bit. Oh, let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing, okay? How about that? I like this color. It's a lot more kind of, it's like pinky. It's kind of a cranberry pinky red, which is actually quite pretty. It's quite pretty, I like that. I like that a lot, okay. I'm gonna take the other like little smaller packing brush and I'm going to go into this kind of nude cream shade called Cali Christmas. Oh my goodness. I was on Instagram earlier today and I follow my undergraduate university where I went to school. I went to Loyola Marymount University and they always have a Christmas tree. They have a whole event called, you know, the Christmas tree lighting and it's, you know, right there and kind of right by Sunken Gardens and there's palm trees. And it's just, it's very Cali Christmas to me with the palm trees and then the Christmas tree. Okay, anyways, enough reminiscing. Let's, let's use this Cali Christmas shade. So this I'm going to pack on underneath my brow bone. So this is a nice packing brush. It's like nicely, it's dense. It's packing the color on really well. Nice, okay, and then I'm going back in with Cali Christmas and blending out those edges. Okay, this is coming together pretty nicely. I'm, I'm a fan. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to decide, I think I wanna go in with like a slightly deeper red in the crease. We'll treat your elf and a little bit of Santa's help root. These both have a fair bit of kick up, so I'm definitely gonna see it picked up a lot. Definitely tapping this off. Oh, a lot comes off when I tap it off. And then I'm just gonna put this in the crease. Again, tapping it on and then blending it out using like windshield wiper motions. So technically this is a color palette, not an eyeshadow palette or a pressed pigment palette. I'm obviously using it on my eyes, but you do you, boo-boo. Whatever feels safe for you. If you don't feel comfortable using pigments on your eye, then don't do not do it. You don't have to, no one's gonna force you. Um, but I, I've i never had any bad reaction from using pigments. There might be some staining. I anticipate probably some staining just because there was staining on my arm when I swatched them. I think it's still, the stain on my hand from when I swatched the lipsticks. Not really my arm, because I washed it a couple times. But there was staining on my arm, so. Be aware. You know what? I kind of want to do just like a halo effect with that white eye shimmer. Do I need to cut the crease in order to make this like shimmer eye glaze show up? I don't know. I think I'm just going to go ahead and cut my crease. I'm going to put some of that cream shadow down to give it a, a matte base because I feel like the eye glaze will apply a lot better on a matte base than on a sticky tacky base, I think. I really don't have any, I don't, I don't have any scientific evidence to back this up, I just, it's my assumption. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease and then set it and then put the shimmer eye glaze on. I'm gonna hope for the best. So that's what I'm gonna do. I will use my Morphe concealer for cutting my crease. I don't really like this concealer as a concealer, but it's fine. It works well enough to set or to do a to do a cut crease. And I want to use this like really pointy, skinny brush. This is a Morphe M170-8.
Now I'm going back in with this like blending brush and I'm packing the red shade, just using the red, so Treat Your Elf, on the inner portion of my eye and on the outer portion of my eye to create even more of that halo effect. Okay, there we go. So we have the, the halo shape created. And I think I'm gonna use my finger for this guy. So I'm just gonna take the, the eye glaze and take my finger and just kind of dab it in here. It's very chunky, like it picks up kind of chunky. I don't know if you can see, you probably can't. Can you see how it's kind of chunky? So because it's kind of chunky, I'm gonna tap off like the excess sort of on the back of my hand before going in and putting it on my eye. Let's hope this works. That's pretty. That's pretty and it looks even lighter because I cut my crease. So I'm actually really glad I did that. Now there's some kind of like chunky glitter fallout that's happening, but it's still, it's going on nicely. It's pretty, oop, there's a big chunk. I'm gonna have to, I think after I tap it on, I will go in with a brush and kind of try to smooth it out because it's, it's a little chunky. I'm gonna see if I can pick up a little of this eye glaze. It doesn't pick up well with a brush at all. Yeah, it's not a perfect halo, but it still, it looks okay. I'm okay with it. So let me just go ahead and um, finesse the other eye <laughs> and work with that. So I finished the other eye. This is really pretty. There is a ton of glitter fallout though, like a ton. So I'm trying to wipe it off. I'm really glad I remembered to do this before my my foundation because it's it's not even coming off. Like it's such a microfine glitter that it's just everywhere. So I'm gonna wipe it off with a wipe, but it's still not it's not great. It's definitely less than great. I didn't have a lot of fallout with or any actually any fallout with the shadows. The shadows actually blended really nicely, but it's this this glittery topper stuff, it's making a mess. This glitter's not even coming off with the white. It's my own version of the Radiant Illuminating Primer. Okay, I'm basically done with this look. I think I just wanna do a little bit of like darker shade in the, the outer corner. So I'm gonna take this dark brown, which is Dearest. And I'm gonna take this on the same blending brushes I use with the red. This dark shades blend in pretty well. Sometimes with Kylie I find that the dark shades do kind of get a little patchy. But this one's actually, it's kind of good. It's fine. Not having any issues with this guy. I'm gonna go ahead and move on and talk about the illuminating primer. We're finally back. Finally back to this illuminating primer. And I've never used, Kylie I think in her line has another primer but I've never used it before. We'll see, we'll see. Oh, let me zoom out a little bit since we're done with the eyes. <laughs> Zoomed out, we're gonna use the primer. Oh, it's very white. Kinda has like a little bit pearlescent. Oh yeah, it definitely has like a pearlescent look to it. Do you see that? And it gets kinda gold. I probably, I shouldn't, this is too much. I'm not using this much. I don't need that much. I already have glitter all over. Yeah, it's kind of a pinky gold. It doesn't look super metallic-y in person, but you can see on the high points of my face, it gives a little bit of a radiance. Okay. I don't anticipate this making my makeup last any longer. Um, it definitely doesn't have any pore filling properties. I mean, I already had my pore filling primer on from like hours ago, <laughs> but yeah, you can see a little bit of radiance, just kind of on the forehead, on my cheeks. Eh, I don't know. Um, to kind of keep the the radiance glowing, glowiness going, maybe to enhance it and see if it does something. Also, I think with an illuminating primer, I want more of like a medium coverage foundation. I'm going to use the Too Faced Do You Foundation. I have the shade Medium Beige. This is a very medium 
coverage foundation and it's also supposed to be slightly luminous so i thought maybe together these two would kind of enhance each other so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to do my foundation with this guy and the rest of my face and then i'll come back because she also has a blush highlighter duo so i'm going to go and do the rest of my face and come back and play with this guy all right so i'm back <laughs> And I'm gonna go ahead and finish my lower lash line first. Um, I think I wanna keep it a little lighter since I have a lot going on on the upper lash line. So I'm gonna take the small packing brush and I'm gonna go into this light brown shade called Reindeer Dreams. I'm gonna just run that under the lower lash line. Hmm, that doesn't do much of anything. So I'm gonna take the angled brush and I'm gonna go back into Kris Kringle very lightly. I used to use this just to smoke out and a little color. I want to keep it light, but I need a little, little something, something happening on the lower lash line. And I'm turning it so I'm using the pointed end to run this color under the lash line. Okay, now I'm going to find a flat, flat packing brush and I'm going to go back into Dearest. This dark brown shade mixed a little bit with peppermint, peppermint princess. I thought I said peppermint patties for a second. Peppermint princess and a little bit of dearest, and just use this underneath the outside. Put this right on the outside of the lower lash line, just to tie it back into the the smokiness that I have going on the upper lash line. So now I think the eyeshadow's done. I think it looks pretty good. I I kind of like it. I'm happy with how it turned out. Now I'm going to, well, one, zoom in, and then two, use the eyeliner to kind of I'll go over the upper lash line and then kind of try to make a little bit of a wing. What I did using this dark shadow is I kind of created a little bit of an outline for me to follow using the shadow liner, and then I'll go over with this red. It might not show up, but whatever. I'll shake this up a little bit. This has a pretty nice felt tip. I like how I'm already drawing on my hand. <laughs> But it seems like it can draw a pretty thin line. So, wish me luck. <laughs> um, it's okay. I think maybe if I had done like a more gold, I think maybe if I had done like a more gold or brown look, you'd be able to see this better. Cause I just, can you see it? I mean, you can see a little bit here, but you can't really, with the red and everything, you can't really see this liner. Also, it like makes a really nice line just on bare skin, but especially over the like shimmery part of the eye, it doesn't really draw very easily. I have to kind of go in and stamp it and then kind of fill it in, which is fine. I guess it works. It's just a little, it takes some finessing, I guess would be the word. Yeah, you can't really see it. It looks pretty good over the lid, especially on this eye. This eye looks better. You can see it on the lid. Can't really see it on this eye. My wings are also totally different shapes, but you can't really see them anyway, so I guess that's, for me, that's a good thing. I don't know, this is just, it's nice, but like it already feels a little, well, I guess it doesn't feel dry, I don't know. I just don't think this is a completely necessary item in the collection. Like, it's kind of cool. It's different. I don't think it's totally necessary, though. Ow. Ouch. Oh, that made my eye water. It's looking better on this eye. You can really see it a lot more. So it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool to have the red liner, but... Yeah. Overall, it's kind of a take it or leave it. I don't, I'm not really plussed one way or the other, but let me put some mascara on because I think that will help make this look come together because I think the eyes are just a little, they, they look like a lot right now. <laughs> Overall, I like this eyeshadow palette. I think it's actually really nice. I think the shades in here work well from the ones I've used. I've not used everything, but I'm pretty pleased with this eyeshadow look. I think it's actually quite pretty. 
It's not necessarily what I would normally do, but I think it's pretty. I like the mix of mattes and glitters and metallics in this palette. I think it's kind of cool. I like it. It's cohesive. I think there's a really nice color story in here and it feels very holiday, which for me, I like. I'm all about that. And I think I actually will keep using this palette more than just around Christmas time. I mean, I think it's holiday, but it also feels like it could be kind of transitioned over into like, you know, winter, even spring. This could be a really fun Valentine's palette. I like it. I, I really like this palette. The eyeliner I already talked about, it's it's fine. Oh, my hair's sticking up as usual. It's fine. Uh, the eye glazes, these are cool products. I like these, um, but I like kind of like a glittery, sparkly top coat. Um, are they the easiest to work with? No. <laughs> No, no, they're definitely not that easy to work with, especially the white one, which I chose to use. It's very chunky <laughs> or flaky, but once you get it on, I think it, actually the results are nice. I think it's pretty. I do quite like it, and I, I do like the red as well. Um, I want to do another look where I play with this one and kind of make it the star of the show because it's very pretty. However, this red shade, let me swatch them. It's very similar to the kind of glittery shade that's in the palette. It's like texture wise, color wise. Oh. Well, I'll swatch it on the other hand because I have eyeliner on my hand that won't come off. That's a good sign though. This eyeliner is quite difficult to remove so it probably won't wear down during the day. So the shade um, holiday season in the palette is the glitter. Oops, I have to use the other hand. I forgot. So when you swatch this, it's kind of similar. It's very metallic, kind of chunky, has like that like sparkly glittery. It doesn't have big chunks of glitter in it. So I think this would, this is eye safe, I'm guessing. And then compared to this, this is the shimmer eye glaze. It's a lot brighter, but texture wise, they're similar. Well, even hints of naughty. This is a very similar shade too. This one right here. Oh, that's even more similar. Cause this one's kind of chunky, kind of flaky. We got these two shades here, which are from the eyeshadow palette. And then you have this eye glaze and they feel similar to me, to be completely honest. Like the textures feel kind of similar. I mean, the shades are slightly different. This one's really pretty. This is holiday season. That's really pretty. I'd love to see that all over the lid. That's gorgeous. But I just don't know if it's necessary. Like, I don't think this eye glaze is 100% necessary when you have these other two shades in the palette. You know, it's just kind of, it feels a little bit redundant. So if you're gonna skip, it, uh, skip out on anything, probably I would skip out on the red eye glaze. That's the shade good at being naughty. And if you just wanted to pick up one, maybe the white one. I think it's really pretty. And then just stick with the palette. This palette is a definite yes. I really like the palette. And the next product we have is actually a little blush highlighter duo. This is kind of cute. This is in the shade. So here's the packaging. You take it out, it's like her standard, Kylie's standard size packaging. This is one of her bronzers. Um, but it's in this like really pretty red with like little silver sparkles or little red sparkles in it. And then you open it up and here's the blush and highlighter duo. I tried swatching this blush and it shows up kind of like nothing on when I swatched it. I don't know if it will be able to be built up at all on the cheeks, so let's give it a try. I'm gonna take the last of the brushes. This is like a little angled blush brush, which actually looks really pretty. I love a natural hair brush for blush. Brush for blush, I actually said it right. <laughs> so let's go ahead and try this guy. I'm gonna pick up a lot. It picks up pretty well on the brush. Hmm, I think it can be built up. It's not great, but it's very neutral, which honestly, I think for this collection, a neutral blush is the best way to go because the eyeshadow palette is overall very, very warm toned and very red. So there are certain kinds of blush that would kind of clash with that red tones. This neutral blush is not it's adding a little bit of color, not a lot. But yeah, I'm the darkest. I mean, you can see. A little bit there. 
and nothing. So it, it shows up, but I think I'm probably the darkest skin tone that's gonna be able to use this blush, and I'm not that dark. I'm a true like medium. So that's kind of too bad. I think now I've built it up too much, but eh, oh well. <laughs> Oh well. All right, now I'm gonna take a highlighter brush and I'm gonna use this highlighter. I have glitter from the eyeshadow like already in my hairline. <laughs> it is everywhere. It is everywhere. You, if you look up close to my face, um, you can see the glitter like through my foundation. <laughs> Oh well, it's not super noticeable, but it's there. It's definitely there. I like this highlighter. This highlighter is quite pretty. I'm okay with it. But still, I don't know. This duo, it's not my favorite just because the blush is not something I'm going to use that much, probably, to be honest. It's just a lot more work, and I have other neutral blushes. This is just kind of not so much. And I kind of, that's sort of how it is with the Kylie blushes. Like the ones, like they're not super pigmented. So if it's a light color, it's not going to show up on that many skin tones. So yeah, it's fine. And now that I've used all the brushes, I have to say I really like these. I really like these brushes. I think they're really good. Um, yeah, there's a little bit of shedding going on with them, but that's fine. They're new brushes. That tends to happen. But I think they're really soft. I think they distribute the product really nicely on the eyes. Um, yeah, there's nothing bad I have to say about these brushes. I really like them and I think they're actually pretty good priced for a set of four brushes, $34, $32. That's pretty reasonable. I like this. What have we got left? Oh, the setting spray. Now we finished the face products. Let's use the setting spray. And then we just got a ton of lip products as usual. Although I do feel like this is a, she's pared down on the lip products from last year. Last year was just like, the number of lip products was like out of control. It was way too many. This is a setting spray. This is also illuminating, I believe. It's an illuminating setting spray. I haven't tried her other setting spray. I think she has one that's like a, hydrating setting spray or something. I've never tried it before. It smells good. Slightly floral, but it's not like an overwhelming scent. It's kind of nice. I don't think this added any really illumination to my face because I already have glitter. The illuminating highlighter, the illuminating like the dewy foundation. I look pretty dewy. I'm not really sure what makes this hydra like illuminating. It doesn't, as far as I can tell, like I've seen some illuminating setting sprays that have like little glitter or have some kind of like metallic. This doesn't seem to have that. This just seems like a hydrating spray, to be honest. It's okay, not super necessary. I feel like you have setting sprays. I think you can get something similar or even better for a similar or a cheaper price, so I just, it's fine. It's fine, but I don't really think it's a, a standout in the collection, it's just, it's interesting. I like to see that she has the primer and the setting spray in this holiday collection. It kind of adds a little extra twist rather than last year, I just felt like so overwhelmed by just like lip products, lip products, lip products, lip products. So these are kind of cool, but not super necessary. All right. Now let's move on to all of those lip products that she's got in this collection because there are a ton. So first of all, let's do these cute little guys. These are lipsticks. I believe they're both matte. We have Mary Jo, which is spelled Mary, M-E-R-R-Y. So it's kind of like she has a liquid lipstick called Mary Jo K, named after her grandmother. And this is also a red matte. And then we have Coming to Town, which is a nude matte lipstick. Um, and these are like little Santa hat ornaments that are super cute, super cute. I, I like the Kylie lipstick formula in the bullet. We also have a set of three of her high glosses. These are really cute, it's a high gloss collection. You have one that's more of like a rose gold, you have one that's like a true gold, and then you have one that's like kind of a lighter gold. Honestly, when you first swatch these, they look quite similar and I don't really know I don't feel like you would need all of these. They also didn't seem that different or special or interesting than some of the other ones that I have in the Kylie High Gloss formula. Like they seem kind of similar, but 
you know, if you really like, I like the high gloss formula. I've tried it before. It's very shimmery and sparkly and makes your lips look very luscious and juicy, but without being too super sticky, which is nice. But it's not, eh, they're not that exciting, I think. They're maybe a little overhyped just because they're Kylie. Next, we have a mini lipstick bundle, which I do like the little minis. Um, this has, I believe, I believe these are all new shades. You have Snowman Season, Team Santa, Rosy Cheeks, Santa's Real, Kylie Claws, and Keep the Receipt. These are cute. I like them little metallic. They have little lips on them. Although, honestly, these don't look... The packaging on these doesn't look Christmas. This could be Valentine's Day just as easily as it is Christmas. So there's five, five mattes and one metallic in this little set. We also have the lip kit. Now, this is the one that I was really, really excited for. This is Naughty List. This is a lip kit and it's matte. And this is a true red. I mean, I love Kylie's true red holiday lips. So again, you have the liquid lipstick and then the lip liner that goes with it. So that's everything. This coming to town, I think will be really pretty with a lip gloss. So this is kind of a nudie pink. But I think it'd be really pretty. So I'm gonna put this on. Well, that's a little light. That's lighter than I thought it would be, but it's pretty. And then I'm gonna take the kind of more pinky rose gold high gloss. That is the shade Wish Come True, it's this guy. And I'm gonna put this on. I think it'll be really pretty together. Ooh. If you know Kylie, you've tried things before, I think definitely, um, kind of pick your favorite color, pick your set. If you own a lot of Kylie, these are probably unnecessary. Yes, they're new colors, but they're not really groundbreaking or unique. I like the actual bullet matte lipsticks. I think they're very comfortable formula. They're easy to apply. These are probably my favorite. The lip kit's great. I really like the color. I think it's a very, very pretty, very holiday. Um, so I would definitely take a look at this one if you're interested in it. I am going to switch my lipstick. I'm going to put the lip kit on. Just because I, I want to wear more red color. <laughs> That's bright. <laughs> really, really bright. This doesn't go with my lips, my eyes either. It's really pretty red lipstick. I'm not going to lie. And I like that it has, oh, hey, my lip, hey, yeah, I do. <laughs> this is a blue-based red because I think my teeth look super white, which I love. <laughs> I'm going to go with the, the gold gloss. Maybe we'll to tone it down just a little bit. This is nice. Okay. <laughs> so that's everything in the Kylie holiday collection. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and let me know that you liked it. It really helps me out. And if you have not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Be sure you do that because this is just the first of many videos that are coming throughout the entire month of December. I'm really excited. Holiday makeup is my favorite kind of makeup of all time. So I am very, very excited for this month of videos that I have planned. Um, I'm not going to say that I'm doing 20. I'm not going to say I'm doing a video every day because I'm not going to make promises that I may not be able to keep in all honesty. <laughs> Because I'm obviously getting a late start. <laughs> I was going to pre-film in November and um, I had to do my PhD application. So, you know, that didn't happen. <laughs> but I'm here now. We're doing videos. There's going to be lots of fun stuff. And we're going to be reviewing, trying out a lot of fun holiday collections. There's going to be a few giveaways coming up. So be sure to subscribe and um, I will see you guys next time. Bye.